When the curtains were drawn for Stargate Universe after just two seasons, the story felt tantalizingly incomplete. In a boon for the series' devoted followers, Joseph Malazzi, producer and writer for the series, unveiled a flurry of potential storyline continuations on his blog. His revelations provided invaluable glimpses into uncharted story arcs, character evolutions, and the broader paths that Destiny's journey might have taken following the cliffhanger conclusion of the second season. In this video, I'd like to explore these possible futures and what might have been for a potential continuation of the story of Stargate Universe. Malazzi's first scenario picks up right where Season 2 left off, as Eli Wallace remains awake to attempt to repair a malfunctioning stasis pod while the rest of the crew enters long-term stasis for the journey to the next galaxy. Season 3 would open with Eli resolving his dilemma, ingeniously repairing a damaged pod, and thereafter joining his fellow crew members in prolonged stasis, a slumber that might span anywhere from a few years to a millennium. Malazzi found the idea of the crew not knowing the duration of their stasis particularly intriguing, imagining the crew's shock and horror upon re-establishing contact with Earth, only to learn that over a century has passed. Their loved ones would be long gone and their previous lives reduced to distant memories. There was also the idea of the crew returning to an Earth embroiled in a prolonged conflict with the Lucian Alliance. In this scenario, while they were grappling with the reality of having been in stasis for perhaps a decade or more, the crew would have to set aside their personal turmoil to engage in this conflict. Another of Malazzi's ideas sees Eli take refuge in Destiny's sole remaining shuttle for a staggering three years. Leveraging the shuttle's distinct and autonomous system, he would divert the entirety of Destiny's available power to ensure life support is maintained within the shuttle's isolated environment. To address the challenge of sustenance over such an extended duration, Eli could potentially convert an adjacent sealed section of Destiny into a provisional storage area. Here he could accumulate and preserve enough food supplies, ensuring his survival and continuity of mission until a more permanent solution presented itself. Malazzi also jokingly suggested an unlikely-to-be-adopted storyline where, upon awaking from stasis, the crew faces the startling absence of Eli and assumes that the pods remain unfixed. The twist reveals Eli and Chloe together in a shared stasis pod. A more ethereal outcome has Eli uploading his consciousness to Destiny's computer system, effectively sacrificing his physical form. Unable to fix the stasis pods or prolong the life support, Eli takes a desperate leap of faith, choosing to seat himself in the all-powerful chair that allows him to upload his consciousness into Destiny's computer systems. This was a concept the creators toyed with for a potential movie setting, given its profound implications and the difficulty of sustaining such a plotline over an entire season. This transition would not only facilitate a reunion with his love interest Gin within the digital confines of the ship, but also would bestow the crew with an unparalleled advantage. With Eli's integrated consciousness, he would serve as the ultimate guide, providing insight into every nuance of the ship's systems, steering the vessel and its crew towards their destiny. When the creative team learned that Season 3 would not be happening, Brad Wright proposed a continuation in the form of two movies. The first film would feature a rescue operation. Over three years, due to the collaborative ingenuity of Samantha Carter and Rodney McKay, Earth would achieve a breakthrough in its attempts to establish a connection with the ship. Had a Stargate Universe movie been realized, these iconic characters would likely have been at the forefront, possibly joining the rescue team aboard the Destiny. Another potential twist involves Jonas Quinn, who emerges from his early retirement. With the assistance of Carter and McKay, Jonas could have found a way to safely dial Destiny from his own planet. The second movie was planned as a standalone epic, charting the crew's journey towards fulfilling Destiny's original mission. Unfortunately, the specifics of this second film remain a closely guarded secret. Malazzi said that Brad Wright and Robert Cooper had conceived a groundbreaking concept to conclude the series, and potentially the entire Stargate franchise. Out of respect for their creative vision and the possibility of them one day unveiling this master plan, any further details about this final chapter remain undisclosed. 
In another scenario, the third season begins as the ship finds itself stranded hundreds of years away from the nearest galaxy. In this moment, an unexpected savior appears, a faction of humanity's own descendants. This advanced military society, having evolved and mastered the intricacies of spaceflight, arrives with an armada, offering a lifeline to the beleaguered crew of the Destiny. However, as events unfold, it becomes apparent that their intentions are not as benevolent as they initially seem. The descendants, it turns out, have their own agenda, eyeing the Destiny with covetous intent. This twist results in their becoming a significant threat, positioning them as the primary antagonist for the third season. Of all of the possible continuation stories, Malazzi said that this one stands out as his favorite due to its plausibility and the intriguing dynamic it introduces, pitting humanity against its own far-flung progeny. Another possible outcome saw the crew of the Destiny unexpectedly rescued by an alien race. This could either be the remnants of the Ursini, or perhaps the enigmatic Nakai, aka the Blueberry Aliens, who have been aiming to seize Destiny for quite some time. Armed with the knowledge they had previously extracted from Chloe, these aliens would finally spot an opportunity to accomplish their long-standing goal. At one point, the writers even toyed with the idea of the crew discovering the remains of an advanced alien scouting party aboard the Destiny, but this was ultimately discarded to preserve the idea that the Nakai, despite their efforts, were never able to breach Destiny's formidable automated defenses. Additionally, there was some consideration from the creative team about introducing a completely new alien species, an idea proposed by Brad Wright. This new, energy-based race might have been encountered during a routine refueling stop at a star. The story would then take a psychological turn with Eli, who, after spending three solitary years on the Destiny, starts seeing these entities. Initially, he suspects that isolation has driven him to hallucination. However, in a dramatic revelation, these aliens make contact with him. Their energy-based nature proves to be a critical asset, as they are able to provide the necessary power for Destiny to complete its journey. Once the jump by the Destiny's crew was complete, several intriguing possibilities were considered for their future. Originally, with a third season in mind, one idea was to have Colonel Telford lead a resupply mission from Earth. After much effort, Earth would have finally acquired a power source strong enough to dial Destiny's Stargate. This mission could lead to a few different outcomes. Perhaps the journey to Destiny was a one-way trip, given the ongoing limitations of the Stargate which prevented a return to Earth. Alternatively, Telford and his team might have brought this portable power source with them, opening up the possibility for some of the civilian members of the crew to return to Earth. This would also pave the way for a shift in the dynamics aboard Destiny, potentially leading to a stronger military presence and altering the balance of power and daily life on the ship. The showrunner also revealed potential developments for the SGU crew. TJ's storyline would have focused on her battle with ALS before being cured, offering a deeper look at her character and the disease. Park, having lost her sight, would continue to demonstrate her strength and resourcefulness. Gin and Perry's story would also continue as they were merely quarantined in Destiny's database, with the possibility of Eli reintegrating them into the mainframe. Another major plot twist involved Chloe's stasis pod being damaged, leading Eli to transfer Gin's consciousness into Chloe's body, a decision with significant emotional repercussions, particularly for Scott. While the sudden conclusion of the Stargate Universe series left many storylines unresolved and filled many fans with a sense of unfulfilled curiosity and longing, the opportunity to explore the potential directions the series could have taken offers a measure of solace. This glimpse into what might have been enriches the legacy of the series by allowing fans to imagine the multitude of paths the story could have and still might take. Therefore, at the end of the day, it can be said that the journey of the Destiny, much like the series itself, remains an unfinished voyage of endless potential. But I'm curious to know what you think of the possible story outcomes provided by Stargate showrunner Joseph Malazzi for SGU Season 3. Are there any of these scenarios or story elements that you find particularly intriguing? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Stargate and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.